So yesterday, 7 a.m. in the morning, I grabbed a cup of coffee out of the kitchen and I smelled that awful smell like wiring burning. So I looked around, I thought maybe a coffee pot or something. I uh, couldn't find anything and it got worse and worse and it was really strong chemical smell. So I moved my refrigerator and saw right away through that backing, through the backing here are some holes, I saw uh, flames in there. I unplugged that thing, removed the backing just to look what's going on and I saw uh, flames were coming out right next to the compressor on the left side. So I said to myself, well, not a big deal. We have a homeowner's warranty. And uh, I'm not going to mention uh, the name of the warranty yet because I want to see how all that stuff plays out. So my wife called the homeowner's warranty. They are very, very nice to us. They told us they will look for somebody and send, them, send it here to look at our refrigerator. In the meantime, we moved all the food out. I'm lucky that I have this motorhome. I fired up the refrigerator in the motorhome and we moved most of the stuff out to the refrigerator freezer out there. They said uh, do not move the refrigerator out of the kitchen, we just leave it there until we find somebody. So we closed that up. I did some research on the internet on this model and like I said I will I'll let you know the model number about refrigerator fires and apparently with this model there are more issues first I saw that it's not a big deal it's just a warranty issue on the other side if I'm not at home or if we are sleeping the refrigerator sits real against the wall um, it will set that house on fire day six without our refrigerator freezer well, <laughs> I could have fixed it probably quicker, but we decided we go with our home warranty because uh, we pay for it. And uh, yeah, so today they will send somebody out to fix it. It's not their fault, like I said, you know, we, we all know uh, it's hard to get somebody um, to your house at these times. We know why. So I'm glad they found somebody. I probably could have fixed it quicker, but we decided we we go with the home warranty, even if we have a hundred dollar uh, copay on that. Basically, uh, the issue with that is the copay is higher than the parts to fix it. Probably I looked into it, and uh, it looks like it's the compressor start relay or the or and the capacitor back there. That's where the little fire came out, what I saw. But um, the repair person, what they said over will determine this and we will see. Still think you should do your research, go out on the internet and uh, do your research first before you buy a refrigerator. Because even that's a small part, this capacitor, start relay together, maybe $50 it could cost you a major fire. So do your research when you buy a refrigerator and see what issues the models have you are picking out. Now we wait for the repair person. Hmm. All right, well it looks like it is only that uh, push. start relay, whatever you want to call uh -huh. it there. Yeah, yeah. Um, the compressor owns out good, right. so that does not appear to be a problem, but okay. it is not something I've got, it had to work. All right. Probably your best bet is going to be to give us a call whenever you get the parts. Okay. And uh, that will speed up the process a little bit as far as getting back out here to put it on. Uh -huh. uh, okay, so repair man was here. 
and uh, it is just what I suspected. It is the uh, star relay and capacitor will caught on fire in the back there. Now uh, they will order it. It will take probably another week until we have this fixed. Um, I could have ordered it from Amazon and did it myself, but we decided we go with the home warranty and have uh, the professional install it because it will catch it again on fire and if something happened there is no issue then with the insurance because they did it. So the refrigerator is fixed. Um, kind of. Not really. Well, it works. It's working. Uh, what happened was they sent last week the capacitor, this week the star relay and we had to call back and make an appointment so he comes out and put them in. Well, that don't go over with the wife's real good if they tell us we will be June 9th and then they say, okay, we can do it June 2nd, but still five days, six days from now. Well, so I did it 30 years ago, fixed appliances, or it's over 30 years ago. So yeah, I, I'm licensed in, Germ in Germany, not here, but hey, it's a refrigerator, same thing. So, and how hard is it to, you know, stick a couple things together and pluck it in? So yeah, here is, I don't know if you can see that. Here's that star relay, what burned. And the capacitor just sits on it like this. Then it goes onto the compressor and you stick your power plug in and that's all. I didn't film the whole ordeal um, because it's really not much to it. Because of the homeowner's warranty, I keep the schedule of the repairman. He can come out, take a look at it. If he don't like it, I pull it out. He can plug it back in. So he did his job. I do this because of the homeowner's warranty, like I mentioned. And uh, the funny part on this one is I could have got these two little modules at Amazon with two-day shipping for about $50. Now, my down payment or whatever it's called is $100 per service call when I use the homeowner's warranty. So I paid $100. I had to wait an extra three weeks to get this thing fixed. Three and a half weeks it will be then. And uh, yeah, so I paid more for something what takes five minutes to put in. I understand it takes longer now to schedule technicians because of what's going on out there. Um, but is it really worse to have that warranty on your appliances and stuff? You have to decide for yourself. For me, this was a test and I think actually it's not worth it. That was it. Um, I will make an update if there come some issues up with the service call when uh, the gentleman shows up here and it's already in and see if how he reacts or what's gonna happen.